so what? So, all right. So what do you rate the usual opinion on Bosch's house standing? That's like a seven. What? What are you saying? <laughs> That's like a standard. Oh. That's like a go-to. Seven's like go-to. Like yeah, I'm gonna okay, vote yeah, to seven. Like, mm. The show. I ran the last uh, one at six five. You feel me? What? And that's fifty dollars bottle. Box feel... we buying. I ain't gonna disclose. See, but see, a cheaper ah. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you know, yo, you, you know, you can you can bring bottle in. We are the four wine sippers. Funk This y'all. is the four wine sippers podcast, and we have. Tia Karen as I guess today. Uh-huh. Thank Sponsored you. by nobody. <laughs> Don't give us money. Sponsored <laughs> by nobody. All right, uh, now it's time to take the first sip. Toast it up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, shout out to me. A little swirl. All right. <sighs> That's why I just say, oh, Mary, you a little season. I thought this was going to hit a little harder than it did, but you know. Oh, um, no, it's, 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 a, it's smooth. Okay. All right. For, for a Savion, that's pretty smooth. Savion hits pretty hard. So yeah, and it's a, actually a dry wine, and the percentage is a 12.5. Oh, that's pretty mm. it's yeah. Not bad. Um, okay, so, yeah, okay, hold on. I'll take it back. It's, it's sliding for it to be in its category, and it also be this juicy. I, I might break out into Mary. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Just fine. Yes, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, nah, I you know, I mess with it. I mess with it. Mm-hmm. More excited for that pino, but it's cool. It's cool. We're gonna me. get there. It's okay. I like it. Yeah. So, um, twenty twenty. How's everybody twenty twenty going? I think everyone at this table has been turning the fuck up in twenty twenty. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even flex. How did twenty twenty benefit y'all? Did y'all let it keep you down? Did you? What y'all? What y'all? Um, I guess like for me, I didn't like let it get me down, but I did have some downs, but I, I use it to my advantage because I'm not, I don't, I'm not really good at being on social media and posting and talking to people and I, I kind of just make my music and go about my business, but mm-hmm. I use the whole COVID situation to get more comfortable being on social media and posting myself more mm-hmm. and doing actual videos of myself and just, um, it taught me how to show my personality more um, over the internet. I think it's definitely helped with music, especially just music discovery, because mm-hmm. people are at home yeah. and want to listen to new stuff. And yeah. Well, that, I feel like people have always wanted to listen to new stuff, but do they have time? Yeah, exactly. You know, so exactly. They have time to actually go you let a playlist run for an hour or two. Yeah, like, so people. that's been good for playlists. And um, it's kind of like a pro, like a pros and cons thing for like writers, like, because, you know, there's like so much going on and like so much music that like you can't write about everything but at the same time. There's time to like peep the underground cats and just, yeah. you know, take time and just like be like, hey, you know, I see you. And that's that's a lot of the conversations I've been having. So I think 2020 has been good for me musically and just in life too, because it's, it's crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? RP yeah. sauce yeah. one time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two times, you feel me? Like, yeah. For yeah. real, yeah. forever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. For those who don't know, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, now you know. Legend went too soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep him alive, you know, always and forever. And just 2020, man, it's been crazy. So, like, a lot of growth for me as a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, personally, 2020 is kind of trash. But at the same time, <laughs> you know, we grew with the people, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't fold through it, you grow through it. Messy! Mm-hmm. Have you, like, turned down, or any of y'all have turned down, like, collaborations? Turn mm-hmm. like. Just what being worried about COVID? It's not really necessary yeah. to come to a studio and do a song when you can have sit at home and do it that way. But Facts. if it's like a producer like Kenny Beats, that like he doesn't just send beats, he wants to actually work with you and build a beat and yeah. learn you. And it's like it's just me and him one on one. It's like for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's yeah. Too, so right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just one of those things you have to weigh. You have to think about it. Shout out Kenny Beats. Yeah, well, Kenny. So there's been videos that you fight. Like, Opportunities that you turned down, like, hey, nah, got uh, wild. Enough. When the when the pandemic first started, I was turning out a lot of jobs. And that was when I felt like I was getting more work when the quarantine started. They were just coming out of the woodworks. They just, yo, let me shoot a video. Let me shoot this because all the uh, roads was cleared, city looking deserted, more space to do everything. Mm-hmm. As long as you know, mask up out there. For sure. Take like, your mask. Take your vitamins. Uh, but don't only mask up, wash your mask. <laughs> yeah, wash your mask. Yeah. That, that, 
Take you. <laughs> I want to touch on that. Yo, 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 you are not doing a service of using that same mask for a whole month. Like, <laughs> well, not washing. Like, and you're making it worse. It, please, wash your mask. How anyways. often do you have to wash your mask, though? I mean, as often you wash your clothes. I would say every three or four days, bro. Three, three or four days? days? Or but weekly. Come on, if you if you out here moving, it's and you can hand wash. You know, like, you ain't got a laundry. Like, I, got, I got mask in rotation. Yeah, mask, mask is, they're like an accessory, a fashion accessory, you know? Yeah. So I have a lot of them in rotation, so I'm not going to wash every week. But I'm definitely, wa- anytime I wash my clothes, they're going in the wash. It's a little why not thing. I feel hmm. that. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? For my niggas who are not washing their mask out there, man, do you, man? Uh, you know Wash that mask, dirty Wash. butt. <laughs> Facts, please. Or Don't just get the, re- the the ones you just yeah, wear you know. and throw them away. Yeah, for sure. Just do that. For sure, for sure. Just do yeah. that. Uh, get, a bo- get a box of 500. Be uh, and you family. <laughs> toss that junk. And you good for the year, player. Just toss mm-hmm. it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, Spend speaking on that, how long do you think that's going to last? Well, oh, well, how, how everybody feeling about the vaccines? That's the real thing. Mask are going to last. If a vaccine come are, out, are gonna oh, is, is niggas taking a vaccine? We saw Utopia, right? Yeah. I'm not taking that shit. Yeah, I'm not taking <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking I'm not taking it. My daughter is For the viewers who haven't seen Utopia, I encourage y'all. We all got different beliefs. Personally, I believe that you just have to like live your life how you want to live. and like, yeah. yeah, like you, you got to watch what you eat. You know, what you put in your body like is what protects your body. So if mm-hmm. you're feeding yourself junk, and you're not, you don't have a healthy body, how do you expect it to fight off yeah, something like that's... that? You know, like keep a mask and gloves and hands and tires, it's yeah. not gonna fix it. Definitely you know uh, I mean? take your vitamins out there as well as some yeah, work out. <laughs> Y'all gotta do better about what we put in our body, man. That, GMO ain't that goes back die. to the vaccine. Just, I mean, do what you gotta do, but just be knowledgeable about what you're doing. Message! Well, we've had a pretty interesting week this week. Uh, Gucci <laughs> Man and Jeezy. Gucci Man and Jeezy. The versus battle. The versus battle. History. That was a uh, his story. His definitely story. should be in the books. For real. Should be in. Yeah, I got pull up one time. For the that. history. Yeah, yeah. Pull me up for one time. How do you? How does your overall feel about the versus? This is what I want to because honestly, Yo. I didn't even really get to watch it. I was I was actually in the studio all day. Like it is crazy. Like they came together and they did a versus. But I want to ask the people to actually watch it. Like, what was your overall view about it? That shit was turned. Like uh, it was very turned. Definitely, definitely most- Gucci. There was for malice. He yeah. he he was definitely there to attack. Like his whole <laughs> plan was. Or oh, was he? Or was he? Or it was. It was intended though. Yeah, I thought it was some WWE type shit. Yeah, exactly. these niggas was definitely cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, you know. Them doing up. so. We gotta, so we gotta talk about Jeezy. We gotta talk about Jeezy. Um, <laughs> saying that he own half of Atlanta, bro. Yeah, he was. <laughs> we gotta talk about it. Wait, Hell he niggas, said what? He said he owned half of Atlanta. Yeah, I, I yeah. saw the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had two properties. So so how, he's out. I own half of Atlanta, nigga. <laughs> Where? Before I drop this, man, I want y'all to appraise my outfit, right? My outfit called 10 bands. Look at my opponent. Look at my opponent. Look at me. Let's I didn't know it out. was a fashion show. It ain't. But I wasn't born and raised here, but I tell you one thing about it. I ain't got no $10,000 outfit, but I own half of Atlanta. But why do you say that? things Real like estate. that? And then you know people are going to check. Like, you know, like how you have to know somebody's going to go behind you. I got to look this up. And now you just look silly. Man, niggas don't care about Captain. And that's the thing, like. How can you not care? <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's a fact. Niggas don't care about I know, like, that's almost like a mess. Shout out to Gucci, man. He was shout out to Gucci. Yeah, definitely shout out. Oh, excuse me. Dang. The wine. <laughs> it hit me. Dang, man. Uh, for just for just trying to be a man, like he said, just like man, we just doing this because it's for the music and the fans want to see this. Like our fans is the ones, yeah. that the reason why we here, really. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So let's yeah. just do it for that. Like I feel like I know we got beef, but bro, let's, yeah. let's just. So how do y'all feel about beef. him bringing up King Von? And- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was like a, 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 a flip the this turn of the tables move for me. It was I like mean, a slick, like because he just did uh, Gucci just did the truth. That's so he was like, yeah, and at the end of the song, like, dang, nigga. Damn, Damn, you ain't even taking care of your <laughs> Damn. homie. You dig up the partner like he all what? right there. And then Put that nigga ass in the dirt. he said, you know what? I tell you what? When I called you today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, I said uh, you feel me? Because I, I said, told you straight up the dribble. I told you off the dribble, nigga, we can't do nothing if it ain't screwed. If I can't perform okay, the truth, we can't do good. it. It's all it's good, okay. but let hey, me say man. my piece. Let me say my piece. Take off. Let me say my piece. It's like this, bro. I extended my hand because I'm a real man. And the shit we came from in the street, dog, you seen it, we've been through it, dog. 20 years, 20 years. And when I said I wanted to do this shit for the culture, 
That's what I wanted to do, nigga. I brought you here to show you the world care about what the fuck we got going on because we are the culture. You feel me? Me and you, where we came from, what we been through, nigga. Us, me but and you. But you tried to have me killed. Like, but because you ain't, it ain't go your way, and now you like, no, nah, let's just be on some grown man shit. Like, bro, you yeah. tried to have me killed. Did you forget that? Yeah, no. like, you standing by it was a, a tie. Bro, hell yeah, for real. And it, so I, everybody it, said it was, it was, yeah, it, it was definitely a lot of people for. saying Gigi won. Some niggas saying Gucci win won. Personally, like I'm more of a Gucci fan, but like. Mm. Jesus it was a tie, bro. Like, yeah, Jesus both of these it. niggas got crazy songs, and like Gucci Jesus didn't play all of his hits. Jeezy didn't play all of his hits. That's a fact. And that's a fact. He didn't. Neither one of them did. Yeah. It was just like this shit was like I feel like almost orchestrated to where it it was like supposed to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. for, for me, it was just like Gucci starting out with two disses and saying. Jeezy played some <laughs> shit, you know, some shit yeah. niggas knew in the club, but yeah. like no one knew the fucking Gucci songs. But for me, it was just the fact that he played two. This is back to back. Was insane. I was yeah. like, yeah, you won those two rounds, bro. Yeah. yeah. When, when he said, "This is uh, Jeezy versus Gucci." Yeah. <laughs> Jeezy versus Gucci. And this is yeah. round one. When my boy mm -hmm. said, "Make a new hit." Make I a new was hit. Crying. Tell because, who Jeezy. Yeah, he, said, he, said, he said, "Nah, nah, I'm gonna keep playing these classics till you feel Since me." Since we talking about classics, like, you know I got them all. Oh seven, like <laughs> I was crying, bro. Cause like that's real. Like Jeezy don't got no new hits, man. That's a fact. Gucci at least got hits from like the 2010s. But right, he got a song with I mean, Playboy. he got in, yeah in the 2010s. Bruno Mars, yeah. Mars yeah. bro. He yeah, yeah, he played that. No, Gucci got hits. Yeah. Nah, no, Gucci definitely got hits. He, he played like, radio hits. Like I mean, like Jeezy had some, but Gucci was. I heard Gucci on the radio more than Jeezy. I mean, I can. Say that. Long term, like yeah, 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 um, yeah. yeah. Gucci definitely he like he a lot, 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 lot of features and yeah. all. I did see um, a list of few songs that he played, and I feel like he, yeah, he definitely missed some some of his heavy hitters. You feel me? Mm, yeah, he play. yeah. But like you said, I think he was more so there for malice because yeah, yeah, you gotta think about like think about you doing a verse with somebody that sent somebody out to kill you. It's yeah. like, bro, you want to do a verse with me? Yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> He said, yeah, I'm going to do this, but I'm doing the truth. Cause it's just what I'm hearing. I'm saying everything I've been wanting to say to your Basically. face. Right. And yeah. why everybody watching, so what can you, can mm. nobody say this is Cap? Can it the truth? The proof, proof is in the pudding. And we're back. Uh, now it's time to try the second bottle of Mary J. Blige's wine. It's the Pinot Grigio. Uh, Very uh, pink. Yeah. Uh. uh Color to it. I've never seen a Pinot Grigio like it. They probably it's probably like a uh, so I'm it's probably excited. like a little rosé hybrid. They just <laughs> didn't want to yeah. call it rosé. Yeah, and it's uh, also twelve point five. Let's get into it. Mm. I think it's gonna be rather delicious. Maybe a, a, a taste <laughs> of sweetness. <Rather> <laughs> All right. So, what did we uh, rate the last one? I give it a I give it an eight. It was pretty good. Eight, eight, eight. I, give, I, I give it a seven point five. It's almost like I can smell the red in it. Yeah, Pinot man. That's Pinot smoother. Ooh, yeah, Pinot. that Pinot is a yes. Sir. Got to smell as you drink it. I like this one. What you rate this one then, Mister Six Point Five? We gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta keep drinking Ooh. it. You gotta wait until yeah. see how it hits you. Yeah. Ooh. 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 But it definitely <laughs> hits hard okay. for Pinot. Yeah, it's like, like this Pinot is <laughs> that is smooth. Yeah, that this thing smooth. right here that makes me wanna cross my cheeks. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta cut that. <laughs> <laughs> that a second. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this at my wedding. This, you hear I'm me? gonna have this at my wedding. Oh gosh. Fifty dollar bottles, you know, not too bad. Fifty dollars. Oh, you know? Yeah, I guess I won't be clapping. This <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nah, it's, it's all jokes aside. It's good, Mary. You know, it's, it's really good, good Mary. Patty. Auntie Mary with the win. Okay. Yeah, I give it a nine. Josh Song. So I'm gonna keep tasting. So the nine out like that. I don't know. A little bad out here. Like, oh, yeah, what you want? Know? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was cool. Come on, Simon Cow. <laughs> yeah, you had better pinos. Nigga, so hard to please, man. We are here loving this Mary J. Blige wine. We've already drank the Savion Blanc. Black we ate all the chips, we ate all the grapes. No more chips, no more grapes. But we are here, we're in the building, we're having a good time right I'm, now. I'm honored so. to be the first one, that's dope. Of course. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's tight, it's just tight. Number one, if you ain't first, you're last. This is what I would love to give uh, about two minutes to talk about your new single with OG Spliff. Oh, um, yes. Um, you know what's so funny about that? Plug it, plug it. Plug it. Shameless plug. Yeah, shameless plug. So the crazy thing about that is he was posting and saying how, you know, pre-save is gonna drop. And I'm like, yo, how you gonna drop a song without my verse? I didn't even record nothing to this. He's <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I'm like, 
bro, send me the song so I can put the verse on. I can have it to you by tomorrow, like, no doubt. <laughs> he sent me the song, like, Tia, you have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I had that song for a while. Like, That's, I didn't even, I really forgot. But then when I heard it, I was like, yo, I really love this song. I forgot all about it. And I'm really happy and proud to see that it's like going up and doing the same. Like, we did it again, man. We did yeah, it thank again. Thank you so much. Shout out to Kevin. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Mikhail. Yeah, shout, 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 shout out to Gage. And Gage. Shout yeah, out to Gage. Shout out to Gage. Yeah. Shout out to you, man. You know, we're going to keep it going. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Now, I want to say thank you to Baj, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I mean, with this this crazy journey of mine and just being able to really take in my visions and you know I know they're kind of crazy sometimes, you know you you work with me and we make it happen we we attack it and yeah yeah oh, I appreciate you we attack it um oh we're gonna skip over um yeah, your boy winning. So Joe Biden has what? Right. January 21st. Yeah, okay. so I made myself look really silly. Like, he's not even the president anymore. They're like, well, the inauguration. I'm like, oh. I had to delete my tweet because I was like, <laughs> but you know, I don't, I just, I just, I don't be knowing. No, 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 no. I, I, I really feel you. that um, because she's like, you know, self-care, you got to take care of yourself first. Mm -hmm. um, so that kind of just loops around to like what we're talking about um, when it comes to like the politics and different things like that. Like if, if politics is too much for you or if, if it distracts you from your calling or your, your art or whatever the case may be, um, you got to find your way to pick and choose how far you want to go into it, yeah. um, depending on your mental state yes. and health and um, how it affects the rest of whatever you have going on in your life. That's kind of where I'm at with that. I mean, I'll, I'll say a few things, but I really don't always know exactly what's going on. But just mm -hmm. looking from the outside, it, it looks really crazy. Like this whole this whole thing is really crazy. And it's just like, I hate when people are like, why is it always be a race thing? Because it just always is. Literally white privilege right in front of your face. And people are like, why? It's like, 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 what, what, what do you, do you mean? mean? Like, what yeah. do you mean? Like, yo, do you not see this? Like, we have to bring that. I hate to have to say like, well, if he was black or if he was Hispanic, like, like, mm -hmm. it, but it's the truth. And it's like, well, why do we have to talk about it? Because it's happening. That's yeah, why we yeah, have to talk yeah, about yeah. it. And it's and so I, frustrating. And, you know, being an artist and having a platform, certain things you can't say because then next people are like, well, I'm not streaming your music no more. Like, bro, like, well, mm -hmm. now I can't yeah. just have a regular conversation about something mm -hmm. how I feel about. Yeah, mm -hmm. facts. You know, yeah. so. Like, being a new artist and gaining young, younger fans um, who, are tapped into, you know, more empathetic logics. Right. <laughs> um, then they want you to they want you to also be tapped into that. Personally, too. I'm just not a fan of like as I've gotten older, like when I was a kid, like, oh yeah, two chains coming up, rapping, <laughs> I'm different for Joe Biden would have been cool. But like, as I'm growing, I'm just like, bro, why is this nigga Why is he doing this? <laughs> why is he doing this? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's cool. It's like I'll forgive Titty Boy because two chains is that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I fought two chains a long way. But <laughs> we gotta stop looking to so use artists the as leaders of the black community because right. some are but a lot of them are not yeah. i'm gonna you know educate myself more and then and then talk um right that, um, and that was my mistake yeah. I, I said um, something i wasn't you know i'm like before i say anything i need to go and yeah, just yeah yeah gather really the information gather all the confirm. pros and cons yeah, yeah. really and then, know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> shout out bernie that's my man's but yeah, um, Bernie, Bernie, yeah. Bernie, Bernie was in the field. Bernie, Bernie. Bernie. I, I marched, he marched with, uh, uh, he marched with uh, King, so yeah. What about you? Nah, um, even George Washington said that the two-party system was um, not going to be a thing that would work out for America. <laughs> Trump and Kanye are breaking that mold of this two-party system. Like, cause Trump is not an all-the-way Republican, and Kanye is like, fucking Kanye, you know? Yeah. He's he's the, like, the birthday party, like, I don't know. It's the birthday party. party. But, you know, that's... <laughs> It's because gonna... it's everyone's birthday at Fowler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Hey, wait, what? What happened? He was running under the, the birthday party yeah. because it's everyone's birthday if I win. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay. But like, those kind of people are just chipping away <laughs> at what we have, okay. like our normal system. And I think hopefully that would change. Yeah, yeah, facts, better. facts. And if that was Kanye's plan, because uh, let's be honest, like we know that Kanye is a musical genius mm -hmm. and it's... It's very rare that genius is in all, is found in one space of a person, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So you're saying Kanye's political genius? But he's been in this place and space that, you know, uh, a lot of us haven't been in. He knows that world. Yeah. Like, that that's the world that Trump lives in. That's that, that's that world, that money world. So um, he he might just have a little more insight. Yeah, he so said he's going for... Uh... 2024 now, so he's like, yeah, Kanye 2024. That's what I'm going for. 
Did y'all see his VP, Kanye's vice president? No. Who I was, who I was his she VP? She looks crazy. <laughs> yeah, she did look wild. Somebody, they were just pretty much running as like ministers, almost like yeah. like Christian ministers. That's why I'm just like mm. Joe Biden is actually the first Catholic president. If y'all didn't know. Oh yeah, I know that. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Wait, and, and it's like mm. Catholic and then Baptist, and then Baptist is like a like a branch of Christianity. Catholicism it's a, it's, is its, its own different. thing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that is yeah. I did not know that. Yes, they have the Pope and everything and all that stuff. Oh. Mm. So what he? Okay, no, I'm glad. Right. <laughs> Pope be touching kids. But, touchy, touchy. Um, but yeah, let's Pope. let's move on. <laughs> yes, touchy, touchy. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's <laughs> talk about. No, 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 no. <laughs> How y'all feeling on this pino? Cause I ain't gonna. Ah, the pino's good. <laughs> exactly. no, this I ain't gonna. Good. Melly, Melly. It, um, I'm gonna say that Savion hit me harder. Yeah, he did. The Savion hit harder. The, 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 the Savion definitely kind of slapped me a little bit. Cruising on. The He's definitely not cruising the way you just pointed out. <laughs> spliff. Yo. It got to spliff first. Oh my gosh. You agree? Hits oh the mark. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, he has got to split. Turn, turn. Yeah, let, yeah let it's me, not yeah. like I'm the only nigga who's split. Juan right Sipper Jr. <laughs> you are the only nigga. You are, though. You really are. Though. That's you the are problem. The I'm not going to expose everybody because I seen niggas do it. I just spent something just now. Hey, man. Try okay. to swig it. Chili catching up to me. Okay. This is gonna be gone. The past the guest. It's the, right, the, the, the last of it. The last drink. The last so we got a little this and that. A lot of these guys are actors. And uh, we want to just run a this or that with uh, Tia Corinne. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got, got, got the list. Want to hear it? Run it. So we're going to just start off with Jim Carrey versus uh, Robin Williams. Ooh. Which one do you pick? Who are you going with, Jim Carrey or Robin Williams? <sighs> That's so hard. Man, it had to be Jim Carrey, man. I'm sorry. He, Jim Carrey, that, why? Robin Williams is great, but he uh, he couldn't do the great. Come on, bro. I think Robin Williams could do the great. Right. Yeah. I know, he probably, he probably did it better. No, bro. I don't know about better. Jim Carrey got he, the muscles in his face to make rich. those crazy faces, bro. Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey got the faces. Yeah, it, it was told, it was crazy. told it was told that Jim Carrey did the smile yes. extraly, and they mm -hmm. didn't add too much. to yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, he did it on the interview. He was like, "What do you mean? This he did it. He has he has right, these facts, muscles facts, in his face. Facts, I swear, facts. the mask is crazy, bro. Yeah, the suit. Yeah, the mask still holds up. I I could watch that today. Okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't watched Love Burner Brick. But yeah, right, right. I've watched Mads way more than Flubber. I, mm -hmm. okay. I, I might have to go with Robin Williams on this. Uh, now that I took some thought into it. I'm go like, with Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah. I watched uh, Dead Poets Society the other night. Oh, yeah. crazy. I, I mean, just, but... He's got classics. He's got classics. Like, Bruce Almighty is crazy, though. Bro, what <laughs> Adam Sandler versus Will Ferrell. Oh gosh, I Adam love Sandler. me some Will. Adam versus Sandler. Versus I love Will me some Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Bro. It's Adam, bro. It is. Adam's crazy. We talking about eight crazy nights. Da but it's what's that, Daddy? Uh, Big Daddy. Yeah, yeah Big, Big Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. I just was watching. You that know what I'm saying, Big Daddy. Um, one of my favorites. Um, Waterboy. Step Brothers. Step. Brothers. Step Brothers. Uh, Talladega Nights. Yeah, Talladega Nights. Anchorman. Anchorman. Blaze Glory. Yeah. That's not my favorite. Bruh, I just. That joke funny, bro. That joke funny, bro. That's funny. That joke funny. Step Brothers is definitely funny. Yeah, Step Brothers is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. Adam got some movies, but he got some really bad ones. Like, yeah, my boy, that's my boy. Yeah, I will say Will Ferrell has less. That recent movie, Adam Sandler. What was that, Jim? Oh, Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. Yeah, that put him up there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, though. Those recent movies with Will Ferrell have been like. Yes, definitely. Mr. Deeds, come on now. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Deeds. Deeds. I was Ooh. about to say, Mr. Deeds is Mr. Deeds is crazy. I'm going to go with Adam, man. I'm going to have to do Will Ferrell on that one. All right, next one. Adam, man. Brad Pitt versus Tom Hardy. Do you know? For me, it's almost like a no-brainer for me. I'm going Tom. Yeah, I got to go Tom Hardy. That's my dog. Tom yeah. Hardy, you is underrated. As Versatile. Fuck, okay, like, y'all about to be mad, but I don't be known at no actor's name. I played Bane in the Batman yeah. shit. Okay. Venom in the new Venom movie. Okay. That's Mad um, Max. Mad, mad Max. Mad Max, uh, he legend, the Revenant. He was the nigga who killed Brad's son. He was in Inception. Yeah. Yes, he was in Inception. Hold on, I'm about to pull a picture. Um, no, <laughs> no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> but so I it's guess okay. she picks Brad Pitt. Yeah, no, but I don't know. Brad Pitt is just so fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like the way he looked in Troy. I know I'm going to say, but hey, they Troy's played. A good movie. Listen, they played that in school, and I was like, oh, Brad Pitt. Troy's a good movie. 
Cause it's so <laughs> fun. <No. laughs> oh yeah, definitely Tom Hardy. Definitely yeah, Tom Hardy. Yeah, yeah, three, three time, one Brad. I'm only going for Brad because he's fine. Yeah, Leonardo versus oh, Johnny Depp. Oh <laughs> God, I love both of them. Listen, I seen Leonardo in person. Boy, I tell you that motherfucker is fine in the hair, boy. <laughs> them eyes, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Dang, that's hard. Cause Johnny Depp, man, he really went crazy on the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I love guys um, himself really well. With Sweeney Todd. Yeah, you know, like, like going crazy. Bear, oh, he, he's Bear Sweeney loving Todd. in Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny yes. Depp did play an Indian man in the last Disney movie he played in. Yeah, he did. Oh, people yeah. did not like yeah. that. Yeah, the, same. the brown. But <laughs> Leonardo, uh, we got <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. Leonardo was made for but this. But Johnny Depp was made for Slow this. Slow it down. Slow. Put some respect on Johnny Depp because he yeah. is going I've, stupid. It out here, bro. Edward Scissorhands is beating a lot of. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a great movie. That's is not it? bad. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. I love Edward Scissorhands, but that movie is crazy. I mean, you said it's being a lot of Leonardo movies. A lot. Of no, it's not. Movies. No, but we t we're talking about the the, the Departed. Bro. The Departed, bro. Spliff has to see The Departed. This is this uh, is. Uh, it's a I'm hurt. You haven't seen The Departed? We gotta watch it tonight. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I will run it. I will we're, run it. Like it's and you well gonna, we're gonna have to re-record this podcast because you don't have to say it's Leonardo. It's gonna be four. It's gonna be four zero. <laughs> Rango, 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 Rango is crazy. How about Django? Django. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, come yeah, on now. It's gotta be Leonardo. And, and it's, a lot of, it's a lot of improvised scenes in that movie. Yeah, too. like him uh, ble making his hand bleed and all that John when he was like. With the, sh the skull, and you bro, this nigga Leo is like a cool, smooth nigga in every movie. He's always the smoothest nigga in the oh. movie. Like, that's that's like, like wasn't the smoothest nigga. That's that's one movie. movie. I can't say when I seen him in person, he can't help. Like he was just walking to the bar, nigga just looks smooth. He can't help it. Like he literally, like, I, you can't blame it. Like my nigga was at the bar, like yeah. He had a hat on, you feel me? I'm like, damn, this nigga. Bro, who was Leonardo it? Leonardo DiCaprio. But he looked up, I seen his eyes. I said, oh my god. <laughs> It's the Titanic, man. Next person is Matthew McConaughey versus Woody Harrelson versus Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper. That was a three-way battle. I need pictures. Woody Harrelson. Uh, I bring up sure. pictures. Yeah, you got to be the picture. Matthew man. McConaughey, I know who that is. It was in, um, I'm tripping. Interstellar in Mud. Okay, Interstellar, um, I'll watch that. He was in Wolf of Wall Street with Leo. He was Dallas in Nigga Who's Out for Talking Shit. Dallas Buyers Club, yeah. So pictures, pictures. This is Woody Harrelson. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's in a lot of shit. And then, you know who Bradley Cooper is, right? Is, uh, no, Harris. I need to Bradley this. Cooper um, from Which Hangover. Which one? Um, Drew. No, what was his name on Hangover? This nigga. Oh yeah, uh, his fine. <laughs> Not this shit. Just... Yeah. He the about... one with the nose, right? The, yeah. No, no. Woody Harrelson's the one with the nose. Oh, okay. Yeah. They all yeah. the one with the nose. Yeah, the nose. He, he played in that they movie with the peel, right? Yeah. That puts him ahead of the rest for a lot of reasons. Yeah, because that, that, that movie is really good. That job was really That's good. That's a great movie. It's a good movie. Wait, ahead of Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Off of Limitless? Limitless was a really great movie, man. Yeah, Limitless was crazy. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, show me Cooper. Matthew McConaughey. Matt, Matt, uh, I'm just, I just drive a Cadillac. McConaughey. I just drive a Cadillac. Like, this nigga right here. I'm Matthew McConaughey. Oh yeah! Oh, like he's that. so cute. Oh my gosh! <laughs> she picked the best yeah. up I remember that days and confused. He got to sneak his way yeah. over Wall Street. Yeah. I forgot about that. He had time to kill. That was a good movie. Fool's, Fool's Gold. Gold. Uh, I don't know. What, what uh, wait, hold on. What's that? The Wedding Planner. Yeah, that was a good movie. Sahara. He got Sing Killer Joe. I might give it a map, bro. Because of Interstellar. I'll go with Matthew. This nigga Matthew McConaughey here was in Sing, bro. Which is Yeah, we we'll had to give it to Matthew. Sing was hard. Yeah, that was an animated movie. movie yeah, yeah. All oh, the yeah, animals yeah. were singing. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That shit was hard. Next one is going to be uh, Tom Cruise versus Matt Damon. And I'm going to just start off Ooh. to say I'm choosing Matt Damon. Uh, Matt Damon is low-key racist. He's right. Why, he is, what, I, what think, I think he did oh, no, say no, some no, racist no, no. jokes. I'm pretty sure he's right. I think I, I think y'all thinking of Mark Wahlberg. Fact check, 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 check. This is Matt Damon. No, no, he definitely did say some some crazy job on what video. What did he say? They both from Boston, right? Nah, I'm gonna go with Tom Cruise. No, nah, I'm a, I'm gonna go with Matt Damon. Nah, uh, go if he Tom. if he's racist, damn. No. I got Tom Cruise. Oh. But I don't yeah, think I'm gonna watch Tom better, Cruise better, movies more than Matt Matt Damon's movies. I mean, he got Good Will Hunting. He got a. I ain't watched that. I'm going with Tom Cruise. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm going with Tom Cruise. 
I, um, I love the Mission Impossible series. Yes. If y'all comment on this and, and y'all say that Matt Damon is racist, I might change up. But as far as I What did he say? Um, Swift is looking it up right now. Yes. Okay. Fact, fact check. Fact check, 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 check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, he was trying to be like, diversity doesn't matter behind the camera, it matters in front of the camera. But I'm sure it was kind of. What? Up, what he said? He said diversity yeah. doesn't matter. Whoever this director is, the way that they're going to treat the character of Harmony, yeah. her being a prostitute, the only black person being a hooker who gets hit by her white pimp. We brought up to each other. So, I, so I think on the surface, they look mm-hmm. like one thing, but they might end up giving us True, something that, think- that we don't want. And when we're talking about diversity, y- you do it in the casting of the film, not in the casting of the show. Whew. Wow. Okay. I just would want to. So basically, so we didn't get the whole clip, but basically he was saying in that in that thirty second clip, right, that um, you do diversity in, for in front of the camera, so like the actors, you don't do diversity for like the cameraman, mm. the sound guy, and like this and that. Right, right. So that's not really a racist comment, but it's definitely it's white so privilege, definitely yeah. sensitive, yeah. definitely. Like, bro, what you trip? Like if if you were black, you probably wouldn't. Have felt Dang, like I wouldn't say that a racist. I'm gonna I'm, give it a match just because um. Personally, just because I'm not a big fan of the Mission Impossible series, I haven't really seen any of them. Don't plan on seeing any of them. Yeah, I I, I definitely watch more of Matt so, Damon movies than Top Cruise. But but hey, Martian was crazy. Martian was crazy. Movie. I did not like Martian. All Trip. right, that was better than Stella for the record. Whoa, <laughs> Bruce Willis versus Nicolas Cage. Yeah, Brad Bruce sure. Willis though. <laughs> Bro, Bruce Willis, but Nicolas Cage is too, but Bruce Willis. Am I going with Bruce Willis? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Yeah, bro. I'm definitely going Bruce. Bruce. Fifth Element, bro? Come on now. Fifth Element, bro? All right, all right. So we're just giving that solely to him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, we know what you hey, need. Hey, this next like, one, this on next now. one for the old, the, for the older niggas. Plus, what is it? What is it? John Travolta versus uh, George Clooney. George Clooney George versus Travolta. John Travolta. John Travolta. When I first seen him in Greece, I was like, ooh, daddy and a little fun. <laughs> it's the butt How old but Women love George Clooney. They do. And I and it's crazy because my boyfriend was just saying that the other day. And I, I was like, who is this man? I, I know who he is, but I looked him up and I'm like, no. I mean, he's one of the smoothest niggas on camera, though, to be honest. He is very smooth on camera. Yeah, he is. But right. John Travolta is very smooth. Pulp Fiction, baby. I mean, I like John Travolta, and I'm not even a big George Clooney fan, but I would say George Clooney probably has more. Because John Travolta has a lot of movies where it's like, bro. What you doing? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, bro, Grease. Grease, I loved. Because my mom Grease first showed me that. I'm like, I love this movie. I didn't wow. see Gravity. Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, yeah, Gravity's. Oh, my gosh. Gravity was such a good movie. With yeah, Gravity, yeah. Michael Gravity. Clayton was straight. I think that's a show. Though. See, that's the thing. Uh, I haven't Bullock. watched a lot of movies with him in it, so I really can't. Oh, Shout out Sandra movie. Bullock, you know. So we all said George? I'm George. going with George. George, yeah, George. I guess I haven't seen a lot of movies with George Clooney in it or didn't realize it was him. So I don't I don't know. But I'm just going off of what I know, what I see. So John Travolta. <laughs> yeah. Now we got uh, James Franco versus Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Gyllenhaal. Is that James Franco? That's my baby. <laughs> Why you want to put all the fire? I'm, pro- right I'm probably going um, James Franco though, for real. Yeah, James Franco crazy. Zodiac was crazy. You just played Zodiac though. Was yeah, too. I did. I did. Wait, where is he at? Oh, go to images. Yeah, let me see. He like Toby McGuire. Because he's never the main. Oh yeah. Because he's never the main character. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with James Franco. Oh, it, this one's the first tie. I'm going with James. You are. Yeah. Okay, tie. All right. Uh, next one is uh, Steve Carell versus Ben Stiller. Pull out the pigeons. Yeah, from, 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 from the office. office. From the office. Michael. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, oh. better than Ben Stiller. Yes. Yeah, I don't Stiller, know. Ben, so. ben Stiller got Meet the Parents and Meet the Falcons. But it's I like, love Ben Stiller, though. 40 really old, 40-year-old version is better than both of the movies. So yeah, like, Get Smart, you know. Get Smart was... <laughs> Hilarious. The uh, yeah. what, what was the the uh, fox catcher? Was it's it? definitely gonna go to um Stephen Carell. Yeah, Stephen Carell. Yeah. All right, Seth Rogen versus Jack Black. Seth Rogen. Mm. I have That's, to go with Seth Rogen because I, I like Jack Black, but I never was like he just was too much for me. It was more like he, he just was a little too much. Just like all right. Jack Black does it's have really uh, Tenacious no D. Yes, I did like that movie, but bro. Camp Rock. Wait, no. No, School of Rock. School of Rock. And Nacho Libre, right? Nacho Libre, yeah. yeah. 
No, no. I never. I don't watch any of those really ever. Chopping oh, Thunder. I know what you did Chopping. last summer. Oh yeah, that was good. Chopping. Kung Fu Panda Ice Age. Yeah, Jack Black. Okay. I mean, hold on. Nah, Seth Rogen crazy though. I'm gonna have to give it to Seth, but Jack has a lot of roles. All right, mm-hmm. so all right, Zach Efron versus Channing Tatum. I'm this nigga Chan has switched it up so many times though. Like he can do funny shit with Twenty One Jump Street. He can do the serious shit, it's kind of funny with Magic Mike. He can do the. That's not serious. It was pretty serious. I've, I, I haven't seen I didn't watch Mike, it, but like, so I've heard know. it's crazy. It, Logan Lucky, crazy. We watched that at your crib. Uh, the remember when they hit the heist on the uh, NASCAR oh, shit? Oh yeah, exactly. That, 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 that was crazy. That was crazy. Crazy, crazy movie, bro. That was crazy he was movie. in Foxcatcher as well with uh, Steve Carell and them. Coach Carter, Jupiter Ascending. Two no. just I've funnier seen both than of neighbors. Those. No one. Yes. yes, it is. Yes. Yes. What? Ice Cube and anything, yeah. Neighbors is not that funny. Bro. Neighbors is funny, okay, but it's okay. not funnier than 21 Jump Street, though. That shit was hilarious, nah, bro. You 17 again, bro. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hairspray, bro, what? Dirty grandpa, trash. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, these are trash to us, but people like these movies. Right, like, right. G.I. Joe and was the fact not that cool. That was, yeah, that wasn't good, but uh, I mean, it's something that I wouldn't watch, but it hit hard for the fans, it seems. But he, he don't even like that role. That's the funny thing. He said he hated playing a G.I. Joe. Facts. He did not like that. He was trying to get out of that shit. Yeah. But he's like, shit, it's a bad Watch The Greatest right. Showman with Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron and Zendaya, please. Who's next? Uh, Robert De Niro versus Al Pacino. Oof, dang. I'm gonna uh, Al. Yeah, I'm about to say, but Al, Al also. Hold on, pull up a picture of Robert De Niro because now I'm confused. Right. Yeah, he's in Meet the Fockers. He's in. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Casino, Good Taxis. Fellas. I know you're talking Wait, about. What's that movie? Well, who was Taxi so many Driver? Picture of Al, man. Uh, Robert, he's Robert Scarface. 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 Oh yeah. Oh dang. He's in a lot of shit. Yeah, like, I'm about to go out. He's played a Cuban. He's played a Jewish guy. He's played a. He's played a Jewish guy. But... I think I'm gonna go with Robert, man. Ooh, you going wild? Wow. You wild, bro. Did he play in Goodfellas, Robert De Niro? Yeah, yeah, he played in Goodfellas. Dang, yeah, nah, that makes it hard. And man. Casino. Mm. Yeah, oh, and Casino, yeah. Goodfellas is my in my top 10 movies. Dang. I'm going, I'm going with Robert. I'm going to have to go Rob, too. Oh, Rob. And Rob, because Rob has yeah, more, like, family thing. movies, and he, like, he has a little bit more range. Oh, yeah. I remember this. You're talking about uh, your girl, this, that movie, uh, what's, what's the movie? It's not Foxy Brown. Yeah. Jackie Brown. Yeah, That's Jackie it. Brown. Jackie Brown, correction. Yeah, Jackie this Brown. is my jump. Is it the next one up? <laughs> she make him real bad. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're positive? Don't seem sure to me. Hey, don't say... Don't say anything else, okay? Keep your mouth shut. Well... I mean, don't say one fucking word, okay? Okay, Lewis. <laughs> I really killed her. Okay, Lewis. <laughs> Last one, uh, Christian Bale versus Keanu Reeves. Ooh. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Right, Keanu Reeves, though? I mean, yeah, he got a Matrix. He got a couple joints. What's up? Bill and Ted, excellent adventure. He got some John shit. Wick. Yeah, John, John Wick. You know what I'm saying? But if you look- and he, he still got that movie, oh. too. He let the two girls in. What are you doing? Oh, oh my yeah. God. Why did, I didn't even watch that movie. I mean, yeah, we I was, I thought it's got to be bad. I was just looking like, bro, what it's is gotta going be terrible. on? Dark Knight yeah. Trilogy, Christian Bale. Yeah. The Machinist. Yeah, Fighter. The Amer- Fighter. American Psycho. American Psycho Vice. American Hustle. Four First Ferrari. He uh, corny for doing the Exodus movie. Yeah, that was that. Pocahontas. Oh, yeah, that's Chris- my Christian movie. Bale, delete that from your philosophy, <laughs> man. What? Exodus was kind of trash. Oh. <laughs> yeah, your, your man's Tom Cruise is the last samurai. Damn. Ooh, we have to go one more time. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that away. Yeah, yeah. Matt Damon? <laughs> Matt da- nah, hell no. Nah. I'm going to keep it with uh, Tom <laughs> Cruise on that one. Uh, Mary J, overall, out of your 10 score, it's, it's, it's looking like it's just at 7.5. Yeah. Stays at overall, um, I give it a 7 8 overall. The wine was okay. It was good. It was it was hitting. The Savion was hitting better than the Pinot. And uh, all you people out there who sipping wine with us, uh, drink safe, drive safe, and be safe. Don't do Wear that mask. This is the 401 Sippers Podcast with OG Split, Basha Novar, and Bose at VOLZ. Special guest. Okay, yeah. Special guest, Tia Corinne. Tia Episode Corinne. one. <laughs> we are going to tune in with you next time with Whip Wine Bosch. Uh, it's called That Red Ish. I'll be cussing, so it's That Red. 
shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that really what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's called. That red jump. Shout out Bax. We will be reviewing that as the next one. You know.